My next question is about our children. So we bring our children up and we want them to be feel safe and secure in their world, in their environment, in their home with us. How do we prepare them for change and big and possibly big changes mm -hmm. um, whilst keeping them safe, secure, and knowing the world's a good place? You know, I had, like I've mentioned before, I had um, a sister pass away six years ago. She had children, you know, no, they, they didn't see that coming. It's anything can happen in life. We, we don't know. Um, how, so how do we, I think that really showed me about bringing them up and knowing that supporting them through, they've got their own changes that happen. They leave, they left mine, left friends behind. Um, we may move again and they may have to move schools at some point. So knowing, want, wanting them to know that life's really great and secure and feel that safety whilst building a resilience in them that when we do, if a big change does happen, that they have the tools to cope with it. That's quite a big question. <laughs> I, probably one of, I think one of the toughest challenges as, as a parent as well, um, it's I'm not, to, 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 for me, as a parent, we are the external resource to our children. Mm -hmm. um, and for us, our role as a parent is to help them to grow and develop their internal resources. So that resilience, that confidence, you know, for them to know that they have the tools and resources to deal with what happens. But we will always be that external resource that's the support, the guide, the comfort, the reassurance, all of those things that we do as parents. I had, um, I saw my sister, um, nephews and nieces at, at the weekend thank you for allowing us back in and being able to to congregate in gardens again and having good weather to be able to do that and we were talking about you know so my son turned 19 last week her children are still much younger and we were having a conversation her her husband um myself and, and my son were having a conversation about you know her where they are at their stage in their children's lives and and how I am as a parent with with my son now at that later stage and you know we were talking about how how do you know how do you know when to step in when to step back and and she's got three children to to work this through with whereas I only had to do, I had to do it the once so and and she said that she had heard um, Davina McCall talking about how when our children get to their teen years that it's it's like a, a tunnel so what she, what she was saying is that we can't go through the tunnel with them that essentially we have to trust and reassure ourselves that we have given them everything that they need to get through this tunnel and that we will be there at the other side when they come come through it but through their teenage years that they're, they're in this tunnel they experience life and that we have to trust that they are they are through this tunnel and i and i said for me it's always felt like we for, for me as as a parent in, in my experience it's like training him for tough mudder <laughs> you know it's like the the all of those early growth years of those you know the times where we step in as a parent when we tell them what they need to do where we tell them what's what danger is we tell them where the risks are that all of that is helping them to be able to identify it for themselves and then as they get a little bit older it's that slight step back of helping or not testing them but helping them to test what they know and what they understand and and sometimes they get it wrong and I think that's the hardest part when you start to transition in that relationship with as a with your children as they get older of taking that step back and mm. watching them make mistakes to learn from them to grow from them but st taking that little bit of a step back and not jumping in because it's so hard to do yeah. because that's that's where they learn and that's where they're adding to their toolkit of internal resources and so I said for me those teenage years and now going into adulthood as mine now it is, it's, it feels like parenting is like training them up for Tough Mudder, that you don't know what the assault course is going to be. So you have to give them that training that is that very broad training that whatever 
whatever each obstacle is, that they have that their own confidence and their own trust in themselves to be able to get through over that obstacle. And that we then as a parent, we're standing at the sides, giving them, you know, we might shout out some guidance, we might shout out some words of encouragement, words of support, they know that we're always there. They know we're going to be waiting for them at the finishing line, but they have to get through it themselves. And so I think, you know, that tunnel analogy, or for me, the, the tough mudder analogy is, you know, it's, it is very hard, I think, as a parent and having, you know, as a single parent, not to jump in and do it for them and to not jump in and fix things for them each and every time and knowing when to do that and when not to do that and that's so tough and it is trial and error for us as much as it is for them but you know as humans we learn and we grow and we evolve and we can't do that for them and I think when we try to do that for them we're preventing in my opinion we are stopping them from putting tools in their toolbox because we are using our tools from our toolbox to fix their problems, whereas right. they need to use their tools in their toolbox to fix their challenges. And, and I think that's that's a constant, isn't it? As they grow, it's different challenges, different, different challenges, different fixes, different ways of working through it, but that's where they learn and they then get more confident to deal with things as and as and when they happen and yeah Mark, as Mark's just commented getting the balance of challenge and support is probably the most difficult challenge but it is also I think as as a parent one of the most important roles that we play. Mm. Yeah that's really interesting 